All right, it's, uh, I had to reload this video uh, because I, um, when I added some of the columns, I, I didn't expand the formula to cover those columns. So my averages, my average on the end um, was not quite accurate, even though the numbers, when I did fix the formulas, they were fairly close, but uh, I couldn't overcome the sleepless night and OCD keep, <laughs> keeping me up. So I took that video down. I apologize, but I'm reposting it with the uh, the correct formula, so enjoy. Well, I spent uh, last night sleepless <laughs> in Michigan thinking about this. There is a viewer, uh, Dangard Gunther. I want to thank you for pointing out the fact that my calculation was not fully uh, expanded um, weeks uh, 7 through 15 weren't actually in the formula um, but the numbers when I when I corrected the formula there uh, there wasn't much of a change but there is a change because now it's these are the accurate numbers so I wanted to redo my video to make sure that that it's reflecting the truth. So again, <clears throat> this is based on 38 cents a mile and 2 cents pay for performance, so it makes out to be 40 cents a mile that I'm making plus my additional performance and tarp pays. <clears throat> Gives me my average, but uh, with the uh, detention pay um, and breakdown pay, uh, my weekly average has been over a thousand dollars. And I'm happy with that. This is not my only source of income. So, but if uh, you're look, if this would be your only source of income as a truck driver, um, you can see uh, at Maverick, yeah, I think the the average is pretty good. And and this is just starting out because with the raises, and once I hit the uh, six cents per mile uh, pay for performance chart. Um, yeah, I think in a couple months I'll be making close to 50 cents a mile, which is a, a pretty good deal. Now, also for uh, Montgomery GI Bill uh, benefit uh, receivers, people that are <clears throat> veterans, um, Maverick does have that, and I, I included it down here. <clears throat> Excuse me. In the my understanding of the way this works is for those veterans you'll understand this uh, in the Montgomery GI Bill there's the BAH portion is what um, all these trucking companies get is just the BAH portion so you're uh, for the first six months you'll get 1200 it's it's slightly over 1200 I don't know the exact amount my wife handles all the finances but it's slightly over twelve hundred dollars a month and then at the six month mark I think it goes down to 80% and this is the way it works for all companies don't it's not different for anybody it's the way the Montgomery GI Bill works for these situations so at the six month mark it actually decreases to I don't know 900 something but anyway that's on top of your monthly so for those making four thousand twenty dollars like I am well, it's actually over that because of the point sixty six. You throw the twelve hundred dollars on top of that, and that's the uh, <clears throat> that's what you be making on average every month. And uh, I didn't have a uh, uh, areas set up for these uh, incidentals down here is what I call them. Um, but uh, to be noted, that's why I put them in there, and they are added into the calculations here. But uh, I got $30 once because I was hooked up to a truck and uh, found out they didn't have paperwork for it and so I couldn't take it. So they had me unhook and hook up to a different truck and they gave me $30 for that. Uh, when I had multiple stops for the one load that I had multiple stops, they, I get extra $60 for that particular load. For the one weekend I've been stuck out for a load, which... I got an extra hundred seventeen dollars because they pay a their the philosophy or the principle in Maverick is that on weekends you get a 
at least a minimum of 800 mile pay. So I had like a 450 mile load over the weekend and they but they pay you for 800 miles so that's the difference. Um, and that, for some reason there's several people that don't uh, or can't believe that I'm going home on weekends. Uh, they th so just so you know um, I I am regional Midwest that means I go home every weekend or at least that's the plan there was this one weekend that I got stuck out with a load and that happens on occasion but primarily my uh, the regional guys we go home on weekends and that's the way I wanted it that's what I looked for in a company when I was looking for a trucking company now as a regional guy I can stay out longer if I choose to. They have a macro on our Qualcomm that I can send it in saying, hey, I'll stay out for another week. And I can keep doing that perpetually until I'm out for a whole year if I wanted to. But, you know, that's not why I started. <laughs> to, I didn't start out to just live in a truck. <clears throat> Excuse me. But if you're in the uh, U.S. division, the glass division, or the temperature control division, uh, I think they have a minimum of two weeks out before they go home. So I mean, your your pay should be a little bit more than this. Is just regional, get home every weekend, uh, flatbed pay. Everybody else will probably make a little bit more if you were to choose those uh, divisions because of the the weekend addition of the weekend pay. Um, Somebody asked, how long are my weekends? Well, typically I get home on Friday and I leave on Monday. So it's probably like everybody else's weekend. <clears throat> now, I'm not going to say that happens every time. There are weekends where I've gotten home Saturday mornings because of the way the uh, hours um, of driving work out. And I want to thank our government for that. <clears throat> I've been thanking my government for the last 22 years for all the awesome stuff they do on occasion so typically I, I leave on I uh, get home on Friday leave on Monday there and again there are occasions where I leave on Sunday uh, to preposition myself for a Monday morning delivery <clears throat> but typically I get home on Friday and leave on Monday so if you have any questions I'm sorry I had to redo this and delete my old video but uh, thanks thanks to Gunther uh, I appreciate you pointing out the fact that I had uh, missed that fact. And it ate at me so much that I had to redo this. So everybody can uh, see for themselves what's what's available for a regional flatbed driver. And this is just my average. Other people's may be more. Other people's may be less. And I didn't put this out here to, um, I guess uh, have a competition between trucking companies because <laughs> I I don't care what anybody else makes <clears throat> I'm just trying to show people that are interested in Maverick transportation this is what I make so I uh, appreciate it if you keep your comments civilized which most people do that are following me and I appreciate that I mean you guys are really uh, a very kind bunch of folks that are uh, checking out this information and I I appreciate that um, if any of my videos in fact now that I'm talking about it if any of my videos have helped you decide to go with Maverick transportation I would appreciate it if you'd give my name as a referral to uh, your recruiter prior to showing up either when you apply online or on paper or over the phone and uh, this this way it gives my family a little bit of something for this extra work that I'm doing so anyway until next time enjoy